President Biden taking heat for jetting off and celebrating Thanksgiving in the lap of luxury as Americans struggle to keep up with rising food and gas prices. The White House, eh, they don't see a problem. What message does it send to the middle class Americans President Biden says that he's trying to help who are struggling this week to cover the cost of the most expensive Thanksgiving ever that the president is going to take a few days off at a billionaire's compound in Nantucket? Any increase in prices is something the president is concerned about. But I just want to be clear that there are abundance of turkeys available. They're about one dollar more for a 20 pound bird. Here to discuss Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, happy Thanksgiving. Not a good look for President Biden. No, not at all. And it's very interesting to hear the White House press secretary say, well, the turkey's just one dollar more. Well, what about the gas to get to grandma's house? And then what about all the other food that you may have to buy? And then if you're in a cold area of the country, and there are many now, uh, home heating costs are going to be up more than 50 percent this year. So just to kind of say it's not really a big deal, uh, that, that's certainly tone deaf. If I were the president here, Carly, to be honest with you, I, or at least as handlers anyway, I would have said, you got to go to Wisconsin. you got to console all those families, the yeah. dozens uh, wow, that are injured. Yeah. still in hospitals. Right. Well, that, that, that was a national tragedy, what, what happened there. Uh, the likes that we haven't seen in some time. I always think of what happened in Nice a couple of years ago and, and an ISIS uh, terrorist uh, mowing down all those folks there, including some Americans. So uh, that, that looks tone deaf. And then to go to the home of a private equity billionaire, $30 million home, uh, I'm sorry. It, it is tone deaf, particularly, as Peter Ducey mentioned, this will be the most expensive Thanksgiving for American families in our nation's history. And the guy from Scranton, doesn't go back to Scranton, doesn't go to Delaware. He goes to one of the richest zip codes in the country. And he plans on eating lobster. But Joe, the yes. other Joe, says, relax. Listen. It's important to maintain perspective about where our economy stands today. Even after accounting for inflation, our economy is bigger and our families have more money in their pockets than they did before the pandemic. Joe, we talked about this all morning long. At this point, is the White House trying to appear out of touch? Because if so, mission accomplished. Yeah, just to say, hey, things are better now than they were before uh, an unprecedented pandemic. No, that, that's that's not good enough, right? And he keeps saying that our country is growing faster, the U.S. is, than any other country in the world. It's it's patently a lie. It, you look at, you know, the growth rates in China or India or even uh, the United Kingdom, uh, they're higher. So it, it's this messaging still like, hey, things are actually very good. You just don't know it. What you're feeling in paying all this extra money for food and gas, Gas and heating, mm, you know what? You're really kind of off on that one because we, we, we're telling you that it's okay and it's just not. And by the way, he didn't take questions from the press after he made those statements, by the way, to be yeah. challenged on any of that stuff. Uh, but that's just, you know, par for the course for, for this particular yeah, absolutely. administration. Well, uh, Joe, it wouldn't be an American holiday without progressives telling us that we're terrible. Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> Instead of bringing stuffing and biscuits, those settlers brought genocide and violence. That genocide and violence is still on the menu. Perhaps forego the turkey. Ooh. I know that is the staple of the Thanksgiving meal. It tends to be the most expensive thing on the table. So we're bad, we're terrible, and we don't even get turkey this mm. year, Joe. Yeah, I think that first sound bite that you played, that guy must have practiced at least eight times in the shower before going on. We're still practicing genocide here? What genocide exactly? And of course, it's MSNBC, so no one's going to ask you the basic follow up question. Uh, can you be more specific, sir, where genocide is happening in the United States currently? Uh, yeah, so no, we're not supposed to enjoy ourselves in any way, shape, or form. But I know I will, Carly, despite getting up today at God knows what hour, like you guys did. In fact, it makes you appreciate Thanksgiving more when you work uh, the morning of because you're like, you know what? We earn this. Thank That's you. So Except and it I gotta watch the bears you. to fall asleep immediately after eating. You don't have to do dishes. Before we let you go, I want to get these uh, headlines in. USA Today, what is Thanksgiving to indigenous people? A day of mourning. Philadelphia Tribune, celebrating Thanksgiving is celebrating racist genocide. This last one is unbelievable. And here's from the Washington Post. This tribe helped the pilgrims survive for their first Thanksgiving. They still regret it 400 years later. Choice of questions for you, Joe, because it's Thanksgiving. I'll put the buffet in your hands. Why do liberals try yeah. so hard to tear down traditions enjoyed by the masses? That's one option. Or two, why are these people so awful? Go. Oh, boy. 
I, I just think at this point we're, we're a country of whiners. I think it was uh, Phil Graham, who was a senator from Texas, once says, "You know, we're, we're a nation of whiners, and we really are." And it's just basically just to draw attention to themselves, hopefully to go viral, so they get a lot of retweets and likes. And I think half of these people don't even believe what they're saying. I, I think it's just uh, outrage incorporated, uh, and, and it's obviously all the rage, particularly with social media, where we could share basically every inane thought that goes through our head, and usually it's a negative one. So uh, that's that. I'm going to enjoy yeah. my turkey today. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy to. This is not the actual bird that Got we're having, oh, but uh, that was our I, I like this guy. I got him in a yeah, store. We don't want to eat that bird. That, that, that was my follow. Be good. Oh, like, yeah. Are you, how do you cook that one? You know, thank Joe, you for the clarification. Really quickly, I just want to put a positive spin on that. When you see yeah. all of this complaining about Thanksgiving, it really is a sign of uh, how prosperous our country yes. is. When we have time to complain about ridiculous things, it's because we are in yeah. a time that we should be so thankful. But let's for. keep it that way. Let's not, you know, let's not do anything to unseat that. Joe. We got to let you go. We wish you the best of luck. We don't wish the luck to your Bears because uh, the Giants need a better draft pick. Go Lions. Happy Thanksgiving. Country. Happy Thanksgiving, we get, Joe. We get to play a winless team, Todd. It's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, hey, again, guys, be thankful. We Particularly will. Last, last year we didn't get to celebrate with yeah, our families. Yeah, good point. Now at least we get to do that. So absolutely. this is a good thing. Got to yeah, go, Bob. Absolutely right. See you, Joe. Enjoy your birthday. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.